Was it burnout or is this a big cop out? Well, good morning, Esther and Phil. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Um, it's been a big sea change down here um, just because Jacinda Ardern has been such a ubiquitous presence uh, for the last five and a half years and also because um, we have three-year terms, but unlike our Australian Antipodean Italian cousins, who seem to have prime ministers coming and going every five minutes, it's um, very unusual for us when we have uh, prime ministers coming and going. So it's it's a big thing. There's a multiplicity of factors to do with um, her stepping down. One is that legitimately, I think she is burned out. Um, another one is uh, that whilst in the UK, there's, you know, um, at least another year, I think, until the election, and there's no election in America until 2024. But in New Zealand, there's an election coming this year. And so she would have been facing economic headwinds as well as the, um, the fatigue that comes with an incumbent. And so that was another big factor, I think. And one more factor would be that... Um, a potential coalition partner and a maverick called Winston Peters, who's been a kind of figure uh, for about a quarter of a century now, had ruled out any future coalition with her, limiting her options even more. And also there's a resurgent uh, opposition leader that seems to have become uh, focused as a leadership block on the right. And so all these, these factors combined, and I think also wanting to leave on her own terms, uh, combined, I think, um, to, to sort of force her hand. Nicholas, during her sort of what I consider to be an authoritarian regime that she imposed in New Zealand during the, uh, the, the pandemic, she still appeared to be hugely popular at the time and won an election during that uh, pandemic very easily. And so where's it all gone wrong for her politically? Where, why, has she, why has she gone down the, the tubes in the opinion poll so fast? Well, uh, people liked her during the, the pandemic. Um, the, the nation was very unified. We have a kind of just sort of get on with it kind of mentality. But in the wake of that, there seemed to be like a huge disconnect that emerged between the rhetoric and, of visions and emotional intelligence and the actual practicalities of delivering on legislation. And so people's pocketbooks and kitchen table economics, you know, um, emotional intelligence doesn't really pay the bills. And so I think... Um, that's largely where it started to go wrong. She's still quite a popular figure, um, which is partly due to the fact that people still have a, a kind of lingering fondness, but also partly to do with the fact that in New Zealand, um, being an opposition leader is an incredibly difficult thing. And we seem to have a sort of set and forget mentality when it comes to prime ministers.